on Tiffany Haddish, <laughs> and they ready on yeah. Showtime on Netflix. <laughs> on Netflix, I'm sorry, right. on Netflix, and the and the one comic that stole the whole show, the whole series, is Flame Monroe. Flame Monroe. Hey. How are good you? Morning, Tom. Uh, good morning, Tom. Join the morning show. I'm struggling <laughs> to find my female voice. It's 550 in the morning. We don't even t- turn into a girl until about 745. <laughs> <laughs> and, as you explain so, in your act on Netflix. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> How well, are you morning. guys? Tom Join Tom Join, I'm a huge fan. I grew up listening to you and Damon Williams is my actual comedy husband because I did my first stand-up on stage with Damon Williams and I was on house arrest. I just needed him to know who he was dealing with. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, what were you man. on house arrest for? Now, you asking too many questions, Tom. We don't go together. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't sending no chicks over here. Don't be asking me my first So, Flame, you lost your comedy virginity to Damon? Come on, I Sybil. I did at All Jokes Aside in 1996, I believe it was. Yeah, right around that time. We had an open mic yeah. on Wednesdays. Uh-huh. And I was in the audience, and Damon was the host. was a great host then. He's a great host now. And um, it just happened as a fluke. I think Damon started picking on me, and I picked with him back, and he had me come up. And, boom, he said something to me. I said, man, you don't know who you're dealing with. I lifted my pants leg up and showed the audience my house rest bracelet. <laughs> Baby, a star was born immediately. The whole yeah. place erupted. Yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> so then you started coming back, and Flame would come and, you know, sign up and perform. And I would just sit in the audience and wait for people to catch on. Because, you know, young Flame was Flame. <laughs> So some guy I like, used to be a, I used to be a dime piece. I'm now a full on Susan B. Anthony Bulldog. Let me just say that. <laughs> How have things changed since the Tiffany Haddish uh, oh, Netflix Tiffany, special? Tiffany Haddish has changed my life, and so has Netflix and Wanda Sykes and Paige Horowitz. Thank you very much. Just work, just relevance, and I've been doing the same thing for such a long time, but nobody seemed to have caught on because people were so afraid. What Tiffany did was gave me a platform so that people can look into the windows of my life and see that I'm just a regular person. I just wanted to be always respected as a comedian. I didn't want to be treated any special or any different. Just wanted to be treated as one of the fellas by the comedians, (laughs) which is how they treat me now, which is great for me. It works for me. And I think the climate has changed, too. You know, the... the, the, Yeah. the stereotypical yeah. response. I've been around a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have three children. Uh, unfortunately, I do, yes. Unfortunately? <laughs> is that unfortunately today? or? <laughs> that, no, that was yesterday. Today, I'm a, it's a different day, so I'm happy. Now, I have brilliant children. I have beautiful children, thank you, who are wonderful people, and I'm teaching to be very open-minded and just free people to love them and accept themselves. And you're Don't raising them as people. a single parent. Yeah, but the moms uh, decided to do some other things. They well, turned not into really, cats. Tom. They, they get a they mama and a daddy. The, <laughs> oh, listen to David. See, he always got jokes. Oh, he get on my nerves. He's lucky he's cute. He lucky he has a beautiful wife. Wes, I talk real bad about him. Yeah. <laughs> Flame, your story is, is just so interesting. And the way that you lay it out there uh, during your, your spot on the shoot on Day Ready, it, it was so beautiful. And, and the crafting of it is just, it, it, it's mind-boggling and, and, and touching and all together. And and funny. It's just really well Super done. Funny. All right, Thank Flame. You. Uh, you. I can't take all the credibility credibility for that. I promise you that was Netflix. I promise you Wanda Sykes and Paige Hill was paid, played a big hand in that. All right. What are your thoughts or comments on celebrities that have been making about the LGBTQ community like Malik Yoba, Kevin Hart, and Dave Chappelle? Okay, in order. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna do Malik last. We're gonna start with Kevin Hart. Okay, Kevin Hart. I've worked with before. Before he was this major A-list star, Kevin Hart. He did not pull out my chair or buy me a drink, but he was respectfully professional to me. He treated me like a comedian, like a professional. Mm-hmm. He was cool. All the hoopla ha that went behind what Kevin said. I felt the same way as Kevin did. Mm -hmm. I grew up as a young black boy in Chicago that was gay. So I would have known what it would have entailed if my son would have came home and said that he was a gay boy. Not that I would have not loved him, which is not what Kevin said. He would have still loved his son. But if we had a choice, if I had a choice, and I'm, I'm a gay 
trans, transgender woman. If I had a choice, I wouldn't want my son to be gay because I know what comes with that. That was all he was saying. But we always looking for a fight. I was team Kevin. He could have hosted the Oscars. I would have carried him out on my back, piggyback, and said, look, y'all, he do like us. He all over me. <laughs> <laughs> and Dave Chappelle said, I just can't help it. I love doing trans jokes. Dave Chappelle also admitted in his epilogue at the end mm -hmm. that he had made out with a trans with a trans <laughs> before. So, and what he said was that there is a pecking order in the gay community. Remove the pecking F order. word and remove all the expletives and listen to the message. We might not have liked his delivery, but the message was spot on. And that's for his act entirely anyway, right? And, and Malik ooh, that's, Yoba. That's, that's Dave Chappelle. Yeah. That's Dave yeah. Chappelle. Yeah. Yeah. Malik Yoba said, I'm not gay. I just like men. With, I'm, I just like women with breasts and penises. Okay, I'm just going to ask two questions. I don't know any women that were born with a penis. That's one, because <laughs> that's disrespectful to women. And two, he knows the difference between a penis and a vagina because he got a couple of kids with different women. So you make it, you can decorate it, shine it up, put a Christmas tree around it and a million dollars in front of it. When you are giving your girlfriend head and going down on her and she's erect, <laughs> You are stuck in that brother's uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. Good uh, morning. Good morning, Flame. <laughs> Flame <and> Jesus. <laughs> Flame Monroe. <Told> <laughs> Appearing in Los Angeles. Oh, no. DC. Indianapolis. <laughs> if you get a chance, check out Flame. <laughs>